everyone welcome back to my channel step campus in this video we are going to see scroll by functions of selenium okay so let's see first uh, which website we are going to use so we are going to use this rahul sethi automation practice page okay so first i will tell you like what we are going to learn here so in this video we are going to learn how to scroll the pages okay so this is a web page and you can see this is the scrolling scrolling bar we can say so we are scrolling this one right so how we can achieve this okay so uh, here we are going to use one interface that is java uh, java script executor uh, interface okay so we will use that interface to do this one because java can't able to do, do this one so we need java script okay so let's see so for this one like i am going to create one class okay i already have this folder and we can set package inside this one i am going to create one class of java script executor execute okay i am just giving execute okay so this is a class okay and here we are going to see how we can scroll this one okay so first like the basic command we have to use so for this one like uh, i will use two to three methods uh, which you all already know okay so i am using these three uh, this four line okay where i am just invoking the browser i am using the implicit wait i am maximizing my window and i am going to give my url okay so this time the url will be some different let me close this one okay we will use this website okay now save it now run it first okay, we will see like this is is loading on okay okay so once it load then we will perform our scroll okay how we will perform our scroll we will see that after uh, loading this page okay now you can see uh, we are landed on this page okay so there are multiple ways okay to do the scroll okay so first we will see the first approach okay so i'm giving here first approach okay first approach will be like scrolling the page by pixel okay scrolling the page by pixel okay first one. so let's see how we can uh, scroll the page by pixel pixel means like some pixel we will scroll then again scroll then again scroll like this way okay so we will scroll how we will scroll okay. now so for this one first we will have to use our javascript executor interface okay so right java script executor okay and we will create one object of this one js okay equals to equals to and then we have to pass our driver okay and we have to type cast this one because this is the interface so we will create one reference okay we will create one reference okay we will create one reference of this javascript executor to perform the following task okay and this one we will import you can see like we have successfully imported this library for the javascript fine okay now here we have created a reference so we will use this reference to execute our script execute script okay and inside this one we have to write one command okay which command let's see so i will use the developer option okay i will go to the console okay so i am writing here window okay you can see here window okay dot scroll so you can see this window dot scroll okay and when i give this bracket you can see they are asking x and y so x is a x coordinate and y coordinate value we have to give so here we can see we are going up to down okay so this is a vertical scrolling so for a vertical scrolling the value of x will be zero and y will value of y will be something okay so for example like i am giving 500 as of now let's see i am just clicking enter we are on the top okay and now i am giving 0, 500 it means x value is zero so we no need to do some vertical sorry horizontal scrolling only vertical scrolling will be happen 
but this is the limit 500 pixel okay click let me click enter now you can see we are here once we click on to this 500 button or we can say this uh, command so this will be this page will scroll by by uh, scrolled by by uh, 500 pixel okay i hope this is fine you are able to catch me like what i am going to say for example like i am going to change this value for example i am giving 1000 yeah, uh, yeah let, let me give 100 okay 100 let's see so you can see 100 pixel it scrolled down okay so i just copy this one copy this one i will go to my code and i will paste this value here okay and then semicolon at the end let's save it run as java application okay now let's see it is scrolling by 100 pixel or not it will take some time i think my id is loading okay now you can see some page has scrolled okay this page has scrolled a little bit 100 pixel or i will give 1000 so that you can see very quickly or very large extent you can see here large extent of scroll uh, you can see okay 0 comma 1000 let's see this is a very uh, easy we can say so not so much but yeah we have to remember now you can see right so from here it automatically scroll to 1000 pixel okay so i hope this is fine okay now we will go with second approach okay second approach see we have scrolled pixels in this one okay for example it is scrolled here but i want to load this discount coupon i want to see this discount coupon i want to scroll this page till i could see this discount coupon but if i give 1000 so i could uh, like we have seen like till here only it is scrolled by but this is not our case okay we want the page should be scrolled till discount coupons means one particular element okay we are asking this page should be scrolled by to some particular target element okay so how can we do this one so first we have to grab that element so let's see how we will so first grab you already know like we have to click here okay we have to inspect and we have to click here and we have to write one xpath css id whatever you can write okay i am writing xpath okay is it class okay we have text you can use anything okay you can use selector as well but i am comfortable with xpath so i am writing this way Control A, Control C. Now we will go to our code. Okay. So now I am commenting this one. Okay. Because I, we are not going to go with this approach. No, with this pixel. Okay. You can go with this also. Like uh, if you give uh, one thousand uh, instead of one thousand, if you give five thousand or ten thousand, then definitely it will move to that part. But yeah. But we are not going to that approach. Okay. We are asking like give me that target element. I will scroll till this target element will view. Okay. So how can we do this one? So second approach. So first we will create one variable of a web element type just give a scroll or target just give target okay equals to driver dot find element okay, by dot x path okay and our x path uh, we have provided here okay now uh, yeah so just inspect this one also okay import this one sorry let's come to x inspect import okay. after importing this one now we have this target element so we have to scroll to this target okay so we will use this line js dos js dot execute script so this one we have to write multiple times okay so this is the common thing which we have to write uh, js dot execute script and we have to tell like where where we have to scroll okay so we have to scroll when arguments Okay, arguments will be zero it means this okay argu yeah, arguments so this arguments should be zero this is our first argument which we are going to pass into this execute string so this is also taking this one only target only okay so we have to move to to this target 
ओके कॉमा स्क्रोल इनटू व्यू ओके स्क्रोल इनटू व्यू ट्रू ओके दिस कमांड वी हैव टू राइट दिस शुड बी इन डबल कोट्स ओके आर्गुमेंट जीरो आर्गुमेंट जीरो इट मींस इट इज गेटिंग दिस एलिमेंट ओनली दिस एलिमेंट ओनली ओके नॉट कॉमा डॉट डॉट स्क्रोल इनटू व्यू मींस दिस टारगेट एलिमेंट should be visible okay should be visible means view means should be visible okay and uh, here we will end our argument and then we will give comma and then we will pass our this element okay so if you see this command so what we are saying here we are saying that we have to scroll okay we have to scroll to this particular element when when we can view the particular element okay when this target element is visible okay then we have to stop okay or we can say in negative scenario like when until this target element is present we have to move scrolling okay so this is the command so now save it now run it okay just basic things we have to remember okay now it will scroll until we will get this discount coupon okay look okay, now you can see it directly scroll to this part where this discount coupon is visible okay so this is also fine now we will see third approach third approach okay or we can say third case okay this is second case not approach yeah approach is also fine approach or case okay this is the third case so what is the third case let's see okay, i am just closing all this browser because i am not using driver dot quit so that's why it is opening but yeah that's fine now third one if you see here okay if you see here we have some like now we have scrolled this pages okay but sometimes we have that case also where we have given some table and then we have to scroll this one like this okay we have some like here also we have one uh, scroll bar okay but this belongs to the page and here also on the scroll bar which is which is particularly based for this this slider we can say or this table we can say this is a web table fixed header okay this is a table uh, where header is fixed and we have given some slider also so how we can handle this part okay when we have seen the page and now we are going to see the particular element or particular table okay let's see the third case okay so i am giving here particular particular table inside the page okay so this is very like extent or uh, we can say uh, this want to will be going to ask in uh, wings for exam but yeah that you are uh, learning selenium and you are also learning this java script executor so you should know about this one okay that's why i am just uh, creating this video to let you know all the possible scenario that can be asked using this java script executor okay now we have to scroll this one okay so let's see first we have to inspect this one okay. so let's inspect this part and when i click uh, this table so we can see this table fix is a class okay let's copy this one just write some x bar it class equals to this one okay so now you can see when i click so this is highlighted it means like we have successfully selected the table okay just copy this one and uh, what we will do we will uh, comment out this one okay okay now again uh, this one also not required as of now we will create one another web element web element okay web element uh, i am giving that uh, table okay table equals to driver dot find element okay by dot x path by dot x path okay and inside this one we have to give our x path value okay so we have this element okay now this already we have created okay so we will use this reference js okay 
whatever uh, scroll thing we are going to do we have to use this we have to use this reference this reference name anything you can give okay you can give your name as well so this is just a variable name okay so js dot execute script same thing okay now now here uh, there are some the same something changes now argument same thing we will pass okay inside double quotes arguments okay zero okay means till this table okay this is fine now dot scroll top we will use this scroll top method okay it was to argument one like argument argument 1 okay argument 1 okay now comma we have to give this variable name comma table okay comma which pixel so we have like i am giving just 200 as of now a pixel okay now save it what i am saying i am saying ki hey execute script okay just take this table okay go to this table part okay till table just scroll top to match this argument 1 argument 1 means the second argument okay so we are scrolling some element till 200 pixels okay we are scrolling till 200 pixel so initial table scroll top to 200 pixel okay and this table is the variable name of this particular web element okay now save it now run it did it done something else i'm not sure okay we'll wait now you see this is scrolled by right i i just uh, uh, scroll manually here i just scroll manually but yeah you can see this is scrolled by automatically i will show you i will show you what i will do i will give some space here oh, sorry slip here thread dot slip uh, just give uh, five second just to show you okay okay save it now run it because i have already closed this one na? i have closed this pixel part so i have to do it manually but yeah table will be automatically automatically uh, scroll by let's see so i'm just scrolling the piece nothing else you can see after 5 second it will automatically scroll by okay now you can see okay it is scrolled by 200 pixels there are possibly like these three possible cases uh, will be there once we are dealing with, uh, dealing with this uh, scroll by so i hope this is clear to you guys just try from your end okay and let me know if you have any doubt so that's all in this video guys we'll see you in the next lecture thank you bye bye